hey 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 what's going on with my beautiful people today shining bright not letting anybody dim that light right my name is trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing all right so my ride and dies my new subscribers my energy exchange 10 20 hundredfold right back at you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for what you do i don't care if you just send an emoji i don't care if you just send one dollar thank you for whatever you do because see i understand it's not how much it's what comes from the heart nobody is required to give you anything but if somebody gave you one dollar which somebody did and thank you so much right i am thankful and so thankful even though it's just one dollar just one dollar people would say no it's not about that it's the act it is the act because no one is required to give you anything but people give from their heart. People give, give you because they love you. They appreciate you. It's not the amount. That's for somebody. Somebody is, somebody is looking for something. Looking for, and they feel like because the money or the material thing or whatever it is that they want is not the amount. It's not the amount that they want it to be. Then they're not successful or they uh, have a negative notation about it. You got to flip that thing because God, it, it, God is testing you everything is a test how are you going to how are you going if i see you ask me for this amount and i send you this amount how are you going to receive it are you going to receive it negatively this is not what i asked for this is not enough or are you going to be grateful for and content for what it ever, whatever it is that God has is giving you. Because if God gave you that, God can have other resources and other things to come in to actually give you what you need or exceed above what you may need. So, with that being said, and that was for somebody. Stop putting limits on God. Stop putting limits on yourself and stop looking at things narrow-mindedly. If you ask for one thing, keep the faith. You may not have gotten that amount. You may have gotten, you asked for 500 and you only got 250 or you got 200. Be grateful for what it is that you got because it is better than not having nothing at all. You got that 200, you got that 250. Be grateful. Because if you got that, then you are able to get more. You just have to have gratitude. And you have to have patience. I don't know who this is for. I'm not even, I haven't even finished my, I don't know. But evidently it's for somebody. Stop it. We don't got time. You don't, you don't have time. Gratefulness is, it is everything. Patience is everything. Unconditional love is everything at this time. Right? Okay. So, flip side. Looking good, smelling good like I should. Right? Fully persuaded. I've already made it. <laughs> I've already made it. It don't matter to me what you think. It don't matter what the world think. It matters what I think about me, my walk, and my journey with my God. And I made it. So, with that being said, thank you for your contribution. 
but I'm already on the other side, reaping the benefits. It is so, so be it, I say, Samote B. All right, so we are honoring the signs of the collective. Bam! That is collective. Now, uh, this, man, the energy, <laughs> the energy that God, God is on it. God is really on it, guys. He on it. I have gotten so much energy off of this one um, scripture. But do I, I'm trying to think, was it anything that God wanted me to put out? Um, it was, but I don't remember. Ah, uh, she, I don't do it. Uh. Okay, so let me go get a pillow. <laughs> okay, we just gonna go ahead and get into it because I don't remember. And if it, it, it may come back as I speak. But anyway, so what we got is proverbs 18:24 okay now let me just say this you don't see this is what he was saying you do not have to believe in the bible you don't have to read the bible you don't have to um associate yourself with the word however because everybody have their own belief system the most high god is every god is ever over spread over all religions is what i'm trying to say so it's not what you believe it's very now if you go it's very controversial who jesus is who god is it's very controversial right now but what I will say is this. Be careful who you put your mouth on concerning what they believe. What people believe is their belief. That's between them and their God. You have no right to try to change nobody's mind. You have no right to try to do anything. Now that's different if somebody come in and y'all having a conversation, which I do not. We don't have time. We don't have time to have any conversations, debates about religion, any of that. Even though we in the last days. See, debating is energy. Anything you do right now is about your energy. You have to conserve your energy. All the way up to this time to now, you've already debated you have already expressed you've already um told you know told people try to tell people because now i'm getting what what spirit was telling me what spirit was telling me was this do not your time about debating and all of that is is that's done with some of you are wrestling with the fact that you're getting downloads about what's to come. You're getting downloads about what to do. You're getting downloads about how to conduct yourself, what to go buy, what to go do, what you need to concentrate on. And you're battling within yourself who you should tell. It's like, it's like you're battling within yourself and you're feeling guilty because you're setting yourself up for what's to come. But it's as if you're doing this in secret. You're doing this in silence. You're doing this and you're not telling other people. You're not helping other people. But the thing about this is this. It's a reason why spirit is having you not. Because number one, they're not going to believe you. You have to be in the right spirit to accept what's to come. Because I'm trying to figure out why is it that we was, you know, majority of the, the terror community, you will, you would, you know, you would just go all through the community and it'd be the same message. 
but no one is talking about what's to come nobody's talking about prepare nobody's talking about your money getting ready to be funny nobody's talking about you may not get your social security check you may not get your food stamps you may not get anything from the government you're gonna be falling short nobody's talking about those things and this is entertainment purposes entertainment purposes only right that's all you got to say entertainment purposes only but people are not telling people are not expressing people are not giving you what you really need they keep talking about love what this person is talking about what this it's the same stuff but if you stay in that same old woulda, coulda, shoulda, what somebody thinking, what somebody about love, love, love. Love is going to come in. Love is guaranteed to come in if you raise your vibration. You do not want to interact with anyone when your vibration is the same as it used to be. Because you're going to attract that vibration. You have to focus on yourself. Get deep down into that hurt, that pain, and those issues that you have not addressed. The things that you keep running from, the things that you keep pushing down, you have to address those issues so you can rise even further. And when you rise... You will, your energy, you will attract high vibrational love. This, that is what spirit is trying to get the collective to understand. It's hard for me to even watch my fellow people I love. I used to love to watch, you know, and, and, and we would be tracking. But I can't get down with that. I cannot get down with that because we have been through as a collective, as a whole, we have been through a lot, too much. And we have to be careful because if we do not, if we do not get out of that cycle of thinking, that cycle of looking and trying to find that person trying to find and trying to connect with that person do you not know that's the same energy that that's the same energy from the past it may not be from that person that you thought was your twin or your soulmate but when you start to take your focus off and look for other people look for relationships that's the same vibration you don't look for anything. You allow your energy field, your vibration to rise, to meet somebody higher that can meet you. And you guys can have something of substance and value. But when you start tapping into oh the vibration the vibration is love yes the vibration is love i agree but you would not tap into that love into and, and unless you stay in your vibration of 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 healing stay in your vibration of uh, getting down to the root and the getting down to the matter of things so you can rise to a level of vibration that will be higher than any other relationship that you ever had that's what this is about unconditional love being able to love somebody unconditionally and they love you the same it's equal But you can never get there unless you work on yourself. 
Work on yourself. Focus on yourself. Put your time and your attention in yourself. And um, as far as what's to come, I already told you, you got to write that stuff down. You got to write it down and you got to work the process. I've already explained that to you. So, what Spirit is saying, don't worry about telling nobody right now. Because the thing about it, the people that, that is closest to you, the people that you're trying to tell, that you want to tell, you want, you want to warn, you love them, you want to share with them, they're not going to believe you. It's wasted energy because when you start to tell them, then you got to try to tell them why. And then it's a debate and then it's your energy going back and forth. Spirit said, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Take care of you. Do your plan. Do what I told you to do. There's no need to be guilty because at this point in time, I already know what is what's going on here i know what the outcome of the situation is going to be now you can tell them to doomsday but when you tell them and you give them examples and they know what you got and what you got going on and what you doing the outcome is this oh no you're doing all of that oh Girl, that, it don't take all that. It, all of that ain't going to happen. You doing too much. Oh, no, no, no. By the time you get off the phone or by the time the end of that conversation, that person will have been the one to talk you out or make you feel less than or make you feel like a fool for what God had told you to do at to, to, to preserve your household, to prepare your household for what's to come. So then God says that after all of this passed, this time passed, and something happens, the first thing happens, because it's going to be one thing and then it's going to be a domino effect. See, God shares what's happening and information is out there. We just don't know the hour. This could be next year. I hope it is next year. I hope it's not this year, but <laughs> my spirit just feel like, yeah. Anywho, so the end result of this is this: what you tell this, what what you tell, and how you express, and how you try to help people to get online, they're gonna try to talk you out of it and make you feel uh, like a fool. But at the end of the day. When you get done explaining and showing people and trying to get them to jump on board so they can prepare and get themselves together. My hand is itching, y'all. Money, money, money. <laughs> I'm just playing. Anyway, so, and you try to get them on board. They're not going to do it. When the time come, they're going to know all in two what you got, what you got going on, how much you saved. And they're going to run you down all up at your house trying to beg and trying to ask you for what you got because now they understand what you got. And see, God is trying to spare you from that. Because how can you tell your, your family, how can you tell your friends no when you see the state of the world? But the less that people know about what you got and what you're doing the more better for you. Because then you don't have to worry about nobody running you down for what you got. You're trying to preserve for you and your family and they're trying to take from you. So you have to always see God always has a reason why he tell you not to do something. He always has a reason why you have to heed, not feel guilty. Get your house in order. Get your house, get your get your finances ready. Do what God is requiring you to do for your family. 
This is not the time to argue about religion. This is not the time about the arguing about the mark of the beast. This ain't the time to argue about uh, 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 one world order. This is the time to find out what you believe about these things. It's time for you to get yourself together about what you believe, what you going to do, and get and uh, how you going to conduct yourself about what's to come. And you move in silence and you do what you need to do and carry your, carry things through so you can be protected. So you can be in a good position. And you won't be effect, so affected. All of us are going to be affected. But you won't be it won't be so bad for you. You'll be able to take your resources and be able to. It's not what it's not what we accustomed to. It's not, but you'll be grateful. You'll have something to work with. Where many people won't have as much as you have. You put forth an effort in yourself, your belief system, and what God has told you to do. And you work your plan. So if you work your plan, you will have something to work with when most people won't. Because they did not that they, they did not heed the warnings. They did not believe and they uh fell into what the opponent wanted them to believe. Everything is a, a, a conspiracy theory. Everything is, is that ain't going to happen. You crazy. You believe that? See, I don't hear that because I keep my mouth shut. I keep my mouth shut. I don't tell nobody uh, uh, what, because I understand what I'm dealing with. I'm not going to put myself through that. Why? I don't have to con convince people. I don't have to convince you. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm convinced. I believe. So, whether it happen or it don't happen, whatever the case may be, it ain't nothing wrong with preparing. And I'll be a fool. As long as if anything jump up or jump down, I'm, me and my household, we prepared. That's the way. You have to heed the warning. To heed the warning that the Most High God is giving you. Not worrying about people and what they're talking about. Leave these people alone and allow them to believe what they want to believe. The talking time is over. The debating is over. It's time to take action. Okay, so... It's uh, Proverbs 18.24. It says, One who has unreliable friends. So, this is unreliable friends, unreliable family members, unreliable lovers, unreliable people, places, and things in their life. Soon comes to ruin. See, when you have unstable, unreliable relationships, it soon comes to ruin because whoever you associate with, whomever you commune with, who, whomever you be with, you in agreement with. Now, true enough, you have disagreements, but it's the energy exchange is what this is talking about. Right? So... It comes to a ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. So you know what you know who this friend is, right? See, God is your is is your friend that's closer than a brother. God resides in you, through you, speaks to you. And all around you. See. You accept. If you. Uh, is resonating with me. You accept God in all his forms. Concerning you. You already know that God is closer to you. Than a brother. You 
associate God closer than a brother. You put God before anybody else. You consult God. You pray. You honor God. Because God has always been there for you. It doesn't matter what nobody else think. That there is no God and there is no uh, uh, um, Messiah and there is not, this stuff is not real. It doesn't matter. It's about what you believe. It's time out now to listen to all these people that's talking about that goes against your belief system and what you believe is time out. You, it's, it's either you believe or you don't. That's the way it is right now. It's no gray area. You either believe in me or you don't. And so what God is saying here is. And I got something else from this as well. But God is saying your unreliable friends. He has cut those that he cut these relationships off. He cut the, it's ruined. Those relationships will ruin you. Ru ruin your thought process. Ruin the relationship that has been established between you and him. Or you and her. It will be, it would be unreliable. These unreliable friends, that's their aim. That's their focus. To tear down the unity the unconditional love, the commitment, the faithfulness that you have within that relationship between the Most High God and you. Because these unreliable friends want you to take what you have established with God. They want you to instill that into them. They want you to, to give them your faithfulness. They want you to give them your time, your effort. They want you to give them what you give God. They want the relationship that you have with God. They want you to serve that and give it to them. And God says that would ruin. That will cause you to be ruined. That will cause you to falter. That will cause you to fail. Because all God has been to you is faithful. Closer to you than a brother. Closer to you. Closer to you than a sister. Closer to, closer to you than any other relationship. God has always established a faithfulness towards you. May not always seem that way. But we're finding out now it was for our better good in the meantime. We found out all the pain and suffering that God allowed us to go through in our past has turned out to make us stronger, came out to make us resilient, came out to make us a better version of ourselves. Right? So we don't need somebody that's going to be unreliable and, uh, and, and try to plan our downfall to try to cut or intervene with the relationship that we have with the most high. We don't need that. We already have established what we need. What we have to understand is those relationships came to an end for a reason. So it is really okay for you to dig down deep and take the root of these relationships and let it come up and release them and let them go because uh because ultimately if you had if God had not served those relationships it would have ruined you he saved you from being ruined 
because the because with these people in your life they were surf they were taking from you unbeknownst to you at that time but of course you know about it now but i'm um, only reason that this is coming up is because some of you on the surface you're done with the relationship you've healed you've moved on you ain't even thinking about these people but some of you down deep where the root at you stuffed you stuffed your feelings and your emotions about what somebody and done to you or you stuffed down your feelings and emotions about the cutting of the relationship or you stuffed down something concerning your money your finances your relationships or that you felt like God was not with you when you needed God. When you felt God, you felt God had forsaken you. You stuffed those feelings and emotions down. And you need to allow them to come up. Deal with those emotions and you need to release it. Because God had never, uh, God never, uh, he never forsaken you. He, need, he needed to serve that because that relationship was going to re ruin you. He did you a favor. But in order for you to see that he did that favor, that this was for your good, this was for your betterment, that takes time. But at this point, we don't have extra time. You're going to have to go down and deal with that. If you're one of the people who believe that God forsaken you because God allowed you to go through all of that that hurt, all of that pain, all of that suffering because of a relationship, because money, maybe you didn't have any money. God didn't take you out of financial uh, restraints or maybe in your childhood you had some issues that were that you went through in your childhood. And you feel like God had allowed those things to happen. He wasn't there for you. He forsaken you. No, he did not. You need to go back down and address those issues. Allow them to come up, address those issues. And understand that you would not be the person you are today if none of those things happened to you. No matter how bad it was, no matter how much it hurt, no matter how much you had to go through, you would never have been, you never could be the person that you are today without it, without going through it. And yes, he cut these people off. Yes, he intervened. But it was for your better good. The other thing about this is, um, is God saying that, Unc, you, the God in you, you're close. He's closer than a brother. He's within you. He's around you. He is in your thoughts. He is you, the light. Thoughts. And so this here is for some of you. Some of you need to love your enemies god is love god is in you so you have the capacity to love your enemies now let me tell you this how you love your enemies is just like i'm telling you to go down and look at the root when you look at your enemies, it's not about what they did to you. It's about the root of the matter. Why? Why did they do this? Why did they carry on this way? Why do they act this way? Why, 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 why? Why will always get you down to the root? Because if you're a psychic, if you can see, you already see everything about this person. You already know the why. But that's where you focus not on what they did but why did they do it because the why is the way you can release yourself from the situation oh they did this because 
they mama left them. They oh they act like this because they have abandonment issues. Oh, they act like this because they got this. Okay then, I got it. They got unresolved issues. They have abandonment issues. So they go through life walking around with these issues. So they go from person to person to person and ask this person reject or move on because they have carrying all of these issues around. People are not going to be around a person that's carrying all of this baggage. Every person they meet will catch on at some point. That it's a lot of negativity with this person. They carrying a whole lot of baggage. So everywhere they go, people are going to abandon this person until they understand to look within and fix the issue. So when it comes to them, you need to see why. Why did they act? Why did they do the things that they did that they did to you? When you acknowledge why, you're able to see the root of the issue, the root of their issue, and you're able to release yourself from that. Because it's not, it was never about you. It was a lesson. So this right here is love your enemies. This right here, be, love your enemies because you have the, you have the uh, capacity to do that because you have God in you. God is love. God is unconditional love. So with that, un, uh, with that unconditional love that lays inside of you, you are able and you are capable. And because you're able and capable, God is expecting you to love your enemies. Right. God is expecting you to love your enemies because God loves you. God loves you. Love. He don't expect for you to love who they are. He don't expect for you to love the things that they did. He don't expect that. He expects for you to utilize that unconditional love to be able to see past their issues their flaws to see past that and be able to look at the root of the issue and be able to address it so much within yourself that you can send out that love not not allowing them to come in your life and be back in your life but to love them from a distance sending unconditional love to them not hate, not resentment, not what you did to me, not this and that, not focusing on that, but focusing and seeing things from a perspective, a different perspective. Because God, at this point and at this level and at this vibration, God is requiring you to see things from a different perspective. You can't see things, keep seeing things. At, on the 3D level, from a three from a 3D uh, perspective, you got to go higher. And you're not perfect. I ain't ask, God ain't asking you to be perfect, but the aim. We always a work in progress. Aim to aim to excel, to try to do your best. To work past, to see past what this person, what this individual has done. It's a reason for all of it. Because God stopped it. He intervened and he cut this relationship. He separated this relationship because it was going to ruin you. And ruin the relationship that you and him or her have. Whatever way you see it. I hope this resonates. I hope this resonates. Because this is another powerful reading. Because God is closer than a brother closer to any relationship that you've ever had 
So he in tune, he expects. He expects because he has poured more of himself within you. A lot of you, you're not, you don't even feel the same. You don't feel the same. You don't think the same. You don't see things the same. And this is why. Because God has poured more of himself in you. So, when I say this, you are understanding what I'm saying. A lot of you are understanding what I'm saying. Because the person you used to be, if I had said this, you'd be like, oh, no, I'm not... I don't know who you're talking to. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, no. But who I'm talking to now, you have changed. Even further, you have elevated even further. You don't think the same. You understand quite clearly what I'm talking about. And it's nothing for you to go ahead and spread love. Because you know you understand that it, this is the last days. This is the last. You can't hold on to resentment. You can't hold on to those things. You have to let people go and let those issues go right along with them. Send them love. Send them pos uh, positivity. Send them healing. And keep it moving. Let the past be the past, but I'm sending love and I'm sending healing. And I'm, I'm sending you positive energy. So maybe you can in turn think things through for your life and see things clearly for your life. Maybe if I send you some positive energy, maybe you might be able to break through. But I'm no longer holding on to resentment. I'm no longer holding on to what you did. I'm no longer holding on to that. I'm letting that go. I'm letting all of it go. Because this life, I'm understanding this life is not what it seems. So whatever you did, you did it. It's people who have not who have not survived but i have survived and i no longer want to hold on to resentment and hurt and pain and what i went through woulda coulda shoulda nothing i don't want to hold on to that because it does nothing for who i am right now it does nothing it doesn't add to my life it takes away and whatever is taken away from me, whatever is trying to cipher and take and drain, I got to let all of that go. Because I'm here to live, not die. I got a mission. I got stuff I got to do. I ain't got time for the foolishness. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave it right there. Hit the comments. Hit the emojis thumbs up thumbs down it helps a sister out share 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 subscribe i'm telling you the energy exchange with subscribing and liking the video your life will never be the same just simply by clicking something that is free it's an energy exchange but what god when god is in it and God is seeing that you're clicking, that you're that you are um, willing to do an energy exchange with me. It's on. It's on. So subscribe. Description box. Not doing any personal readings. Um, all of my PayPal, Cash App, Amazon is in the description box. If you want to get on get on my social media, um, it's in the description box. Um, I'm sent, uh, hit the notification bell so you can always know what's up. That's really important. And I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. And Trinity is up.